Hey everyone, welcome back to another video wherein we will be analyzing the accumulation data and also looking at what the indices did today. So today was a very bad day for the market in the sense all the sectors kind of ended in the red, right? The worst hit was the pharma sector which was down 1.72%. But all of them, even the banking uh, index was down 1%, Nifty ended 1%, the mid and the small cap ended with the half a percent cuts right so why did this happen yesterday i had made a video on how the uh, cpi inflation in the us kind of spiked and that kind of uh, make sure that there is no rate cut in june and also the dollar index rising the crude oil price which is going up all these are negative for the equities worldwide right so that is the reason even nifty had a fall today if you look at the chart what it is doing right now is it is exactly around that uh, breakout level so chances are it should take support here if not then it kind of goes lower probably the next support for the nifty would should come in around these levels right wherein it kind of took support previously if even that is kind of broken then it there will be more pain for the market probably go back to even 22,000 there about before having some kind of a support so this is the 30 WMA line which is still pretty low around 21,000 as of now. So this is what Nifty is only the Monday's price action will tell us whether we are reversing or we are going down even lower. Right. So then if you look at the mid cap index, mid cap index also ended with half a percent cut but then it is just going sideways as of now right so during such cases what happens the data becomes really important to kind of figure out whether we'll be uh, coming down or we'll be moving higher from these levels right and then if you look at the small cap index the small cap index like i told you earlier there is a decent resistance around that 16.565 so from there again it got rejected the chances are it should have a small pullback and again move higher it all depends on how the dow behaves today and how our markets would be responding to that on monday right but the data is on a positive side we'll go to that but before going to that few of the sectors where decent accumulation is kind of happening is the fmcg sector so the fmcg sector is kind of moving up and down on that 30 wma line chances are with very good accumulation because usually what happens the defensive sectors like fmcg and all get bulk of the money whenever there is some panic that is happening because those are non-cyclical uh, stuff and usually you won't see fmcg companies having a big uh, drawdown especially when there is um, panic in the this thing why is because people need food right and all these fmcg products people are going to buy irrespective of how the market does so that is why these are called as defensive sectors so fmcg is seeing good accumulation although the uh, it is around that 30 wma line chances are once it kind of breaks out of this consolidation phase it should do really well right so now going to the data so the data actually showed a very good improvement right so if you look at this close to 100 that was somewhere around 14th of march right so the data is very strong although there was some panic uh, in the street the the data is actually uh, telling us that the big guys have gone out there and bought it today so chances are if you go to the mid and the small cap index so the mid cap uh, the small cap index need not correct this much probably what it can do is have a small pullback right and from these levels itself where the breakout kind of happened kind of move higher from there right and if you look at the mid cap index i think it should have like a decent support here in the worst case scenario let's say it breaks that as well so then probably around 49 321 would be the level from where it should take support and move up so why i'm saying that they will take support around these levels is based on the data that we are seeing the data is very good it is uh like the highest in the last couple of days right like the best after you can say march of um, 14 march 14 was around that 100 level and today also around that 100 level we see accumulation in the broader market 
right so fmcg is one sector wherein good accumulation is happening and the broader market is also showing decent accumulation chances are from monday maybe the initial uh, half day uh, can see some pressure right but after that i am expecting more buying to come in and the indices to move higher one more thing is see now the uh, small and the mid caps will start uh, pre presenting their uh, results right so and most probably because march had like a extremely good uh, gdp growth right so because of which what we can say is the uh, q4 results for most of the company should be very good so once the q4 results are presented there can be some decent uh, jump in most of those stocks which are doing very well right so let's see what happens as of now nothing really to panic just a minor pullback in the broader market but the data is telling us that we should start moving higher again so uh, let's hope the dow does not fall much and kind of recovers little so that monday we should uh, again start moving higher hope this helps thank you